coming up on 5-Minute News. Convict Trump or face dire democracy damage, prosecutors say. U.S. could have averted 40% of COVID deaths, say panel examining Trump policies. And 600 gallons of oil spilled into San Francisco Bay. It's Friday, February 12. I'm Anthony Davis. Dire harm from Donald Trump's false and violent incitements will vex American democracy long into the future unless the Senate convicts him of impeachment and bars him from future office, House prosecutors insisted on Thursday as they concluded two days of emotional arguments in his historic trial. Making their case, they presented piles of new videos of last month's deadly capital attack, with invaders proudly declaring they were merely obeying the president's orders to fight to overturn the election results, as Congress was certifying his defeat to Democrat Joe Biden. Trump is accused of inciting the invasion, which prosecutors said was a predictable culmination of the many public and explicit instructions he gave supporters long before his White House rally that unleashed the January 6 attack. Even out of office, Democrats warned Trump could whip up a mob of followers for similar damage. Trump's defence will take to the Senate floor today, arguing that as terrible as the attack was, it clearly was not the president's doing. The proceedings could finish with a vote this weekend by the senators who are sitting as impeachment jurors, some Republicans of whom were directly involved in the crime. At the White House, President Biden said he believed some minds may be changed after senators saw a chilling security video on Wednesday of rioters searching menacingly for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Vice President Mike Pence. The US could have averted 40% of the deaths from COVID-19 had the country's death rates corresponded with the rates in other high-income G7 countries, according to a Lancet commission tasked with assessing Donald Trump's health policy record. Almost 470,000 Americans have died from coronavirus so far, with the number widely expected to go above half a million in the next few weeks. At the same time, some 27 million people in the US have been infected. Both figures are by far the highest in the world. In seeking to respond to the pandemic, Trump has been widely condemned for not taking the pandemic seriously enough soon enough, spreading conspiracy theories, not encouraging mask wearing, and undermining scientists and others seeking to combat the virus's spread. Dr. Mary T. Bassett, a commission member and director of Harvard University's FXB Center for Health and Human Rights, said the U.S. has fared so badly with this pandemic, but the bungling can't be attributed only to Mr. Trump. It also has to do with these societal failures. That's not going to be solved by a vaccine. In a wide-ranging assessment published on Thursday, the commission said Trump brought misfortune to the USA and the planet during his four years in office. The stinging critique not only blamed Trump, but also tied his actions to the historical conditions which made his presidency possible. The commission condemned Trump's response to COVID, but emphasised that the country entered the pandemic with a degraded public health infrastructure. Meanwhile, it's been revealed that Donald Trump himself was sicker with COVID-19 in October than publicly acknowledged at the time, with extremely depressed blood oxygen levels at one point and a lung problem associated with pneumonia caused by the coronavirus. Emergency crews in Richmond, California, are rushing to clean up an estimated 600 gallons of oil that spilled from a Chevron refinery into the San Francisco Bay. Details on the spill are still scant, but the emergency has reinvigorated calls from residents and environmentalists for the city to change its relationship with the refinery. The spill at the Chevron Wharf, which poured unabated for nearly two hours on Tuesday, cast a brownish sheen across the waters of the northeastern part of the bay where harbour seals haul out, migratory birds skim the water, 
and residents live and recreate. Sprawling across close to 3,000 acres on the peninsula hillsides overlooking the Pacific, Chevron's Richmond refinery churns out 245,000 barrels of crude oil a day. Tuesday's spill is just the latest incident in a long history of environmental and public health hazards associated with the oil company in Richmond. The refinery is one of California's largest polluters, casting toxins into the sky and sea even during normal operations. State records show the refinery released nearly the same amount of greenhouse gas emissions in 2018 that it did a decade prior. Richmond has become known as one of the biggest battlegrounds for environmental justice in the US, and Tuesday's spill renewed calls from activists for the city to end its century-long relationship with the refinery. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app, ask your smart speaker, or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate, and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health, and climate, delivering independent, unbiased, and essential world news. Daily.